Darren, obviously the season didn't end the way you guys wanted to, right. but you overcame a lot of adversity, still won 48 wins. What will you remember most about this year? Um, like you said, you know, how we overcame a lot of adversities. We were resilient. Um, you know, we could have folded, you know, a while ago without our best player, but, you know, we still managed to able to put some good games together. Um, you know, we had a lot of fight in this, <clears throat> even in, in this, this past series, you know, you definitely don't want to get swept, but I feel like every game, you know, came down to the last minute or so. So we're definitely proud of how we were we fought. When you signed here two summers ago, mm -hmm. I think the expectations for this team outside weren't very high, but you guys won 48 wins two years in a row. How much pride do you take in the culture and the success that you've built here? Oh, extremely much. I, I mean, like you said, before I got here, you know, we weren't even considered a playoff team, but to be able to do what we did the last two years and put the amount of wins that we put, I mean, it's been special. You know, it's been a fun ride. Um, you know, the way the fans supported us, you know what I mean, coming in since I first got here, I mean, it's been amazing. You know, coaching staff, you know, training staff, you know, the organization, everybody just played a big part, you know, in the success that we had the last two years. Obviously, losing an all-star like Victor mm -hmm. really hurts, but it opened up a door for a lot of guys mm -hmm. to really elevate their games this year. How much growth did you see from different individuals on this team over the course of the season? Um, I mean, a lot. You know, everybody had to step up and, you know, in so many different ways, you know, in order for us to be successful. And I thought we did that. I mean, you know, Boyan, you know, had one of his best seasons. You know, Daddyus, Miles, myself. You know, it, it was it was extremely fun. You know, stepping up into that role. You know, you definitely don't want to do it because of those circumstances. But like I said, you know, it was no fight in us, and that's what we saw where the game was going, and we all had to step up and play big. As one of the veterans and leaders in this locker room, do you feel like you guys have really built a culture here and set the set maybe the groundprint for? for future success for this franchise. Yeah, we did, we did. We did definitely set the blueprint for, you know, how, you know, organization needs to be ran and the type of players that you need. Um, you know, one thing I can say about each individual, you know, nobody really complained. You know, everybody did what they were supposed to be doing. Um, you know, everybody went out there and had each other's back. You know, it was, it was no drama, no conflict within the locker room. The chemistry was great, so. Definitely, when you have a team like that, it's easy to coach, I'm sure. You can ask the coaching staff, and it's easy to play with. Nate said last night he uh, thanked you guys after the game for everyone giving effort every mm -hmm. game. And How important is that, just having guys who are all committed to the same goal? Um, I mean, it's extremely important. You don't find that a lot you know, in the NBA when teams come together and have that much effort um, every single night. You know, effort has never been an issue for us, you know, going out there on the court. You know, if we lose games, it's, it's going to be for other reasons. It's not going to be because of effort. And um, yeah, I can honestly say that, you know, this is the first time I played on a team when where that has been the case. You know, I played on some really good teams where, you know, effort was the reason why you couldn't get over the hump. But, you know, that was never the case here. Personally, how will you approach this offseason? Um, I'm just going to relax, you know, like I do every offseason. You know, get my mind off the game for a little bit and then go from there. The fans have really embraced this group over the past two seasons. What message do you have for them? Uh, the fans has always been great. This this got to be one of some of the best fans to play in front of, you know, in the NBA. I mean, since day one, since I got here, you know, they, you know what I mean. The fans have been great. Um, you know, even when we go out on the streets and you know they see us, they always got some good things to say and nice things and positive things. So, you know, it's, it sucks that you know we didn't reach our ultimate goal and and you know, make that reciprocated to them. But, you know, the fans have always been great to us and I appreciate them for that.